Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And uh, salam sejahtera. Hi everybody. How are you today? I hope you are in uh, good condition. Okay, uh, today uh, we are we will continue to chapter number 6. That's mean air conditioning. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, Dr. Azmi Hussein uh because of his effort to uh, uh produce this uh nice uh, and beautiful slide thank you uh, dr azmi said okay um about chapter 6 air conditioning uh this is a uh, uh, part number 1 or part a uh, in air conditioning uh, chapter. In this chapter, we will discuss uh, the mixture of gases that uh, below the critical temperature. When we are dealing with, uh, uh, you know, as a gas vapor mixture, The vapor may condense out of the mixture during the process, that that which is uh, it will form or forming a two-phase mixture. This may complicate the analysis considerable, considerably. Uh, therefore, uh, in this chapter, a gas vapor mixture uh, needs. Uh, to be treated uh, differently from ordinary gas mixture. Okay, so um, what should you know in this chapter? Actually, uh, here I go to the slide. Uh, student, you should know uh, or you must uh, should able to uh, define okay or analysis the differentiate between dry air and also atmosphere air uh, and then you also must know how to define uh, the calculation the specific and relative humidity of atmosphere air you also must know how to calculate the dew point temperature of atmosphere air you also have to know how to relate it, relate the elevated saturation temperature and wet bulb temperatures of atmospheric air also in this chapter you also should be able to define or use the psychometric chart as a tool to determine the properties of atmospheric air okay, this all the objectives you should know in part a of chapter air conditioning So the content, what will you see or what will you learn in this uh, chapter actually uh, in this part is only two, that means the properties of air mixture, uh, temperature and humidity control and also we will discuss on the psychrometric uh, chart. Another Two contents will be uh, discussed in the next uh, subtopic. Okay, subtopic or the next part. Okay, let's look at the definitions. Firstly, uh, about air conditioning process. What is air conditioning process? Okay, let's look on the definitions. 
of course uh, you have uh, seen or you has a uh, deal with uh, air conditioning air con devices as well and also you have used this unit of uh, split unit air condition uh, conditioning but um, maybe you don't know or maybe you not well known what is the definition of this air conditioning okay the definition is the the process of treating air to control simultaneously its temperature humidity clean liners and also distributions this is the uh, definitions of air conditioning process so the purpose of this uh, air conditioning is to maintain a living space or an industrial facility at the desired temperature and humidity by heating cooling dehumidifying that means uh, we add moisture at that situation and uh, dehumidifying that means we remove the moisture from the conditioning process okay that is the purpose of the air conditioning process actually uh, air conditioning is mean uh, this is simple word okay that, that means is to provide comfort zone not cooling zone okay that is that you have to remember uh, because this uh, unit process actually uh, is defined to provide okay comfort zone to us as you know the human body comforts depends on three factor that's it uh, that's the temperature that is temperatures humidity and also air motion so when we talk about temperature our body is in the comfort zone when it comes to 22 uh, degrees Celsius to 27 degrees Celsius that is the comfort zone of our body and the humidity is around 40 to 60 percent and also uh, our body needs air motions that means air ventilations and also the velocity oh, and another factor that affecting this comfort zone is uh, air uh, clean, uh, clean lines uh, all dots and also radiations and etc as you all uh, learn in uh, standard uh, uh, in uh, form sorry in form 4 form 5 and in the uh, science uh, subjects uh, you know that air is mixture of nitrogen oxygen and small amount of other some gases okay as you see in these uh, uh, figures okay uh, air is around uh, in air it it have a mixture of nitrogen that means 70 uh, 78 percent uh oxygen that we breathe is 21 percent and only one percent is others that means including uh argons and carbon dioxide and extra so in the air uh in the atmosphere uh, normally uh, contained uh, some uh, water vapor or in, uh, in other words it's called uh, moisture uh, and it refer uh, as a atmospheric air okay uh, by contrast by by contrast you know that the air uh, contain no water vapor okay air that 
contain no water vapor, we call it as a dry air. It is often uh, convenient to treat air as a mixture of water vapor and dry air. Seeing these uh, compositions of dry air remain uh, relatively constant, um, but the amount of water vapor changes as a result of the condensation and evaporation from uh, oceans, lakes, uh, river, showers, and even the human body. Although the amount of water vapor in the air is small, it may play a major role eh? okay, in the human comfort. So, uh, therefore, it is very important to consider in the air conditioning applications. So, uh, as you see in this uh, picture, uh, this is how we can uh, show or uh, or define the vapor, water vapor in the atmospheric air. So uh, please take note, air that not contain no vapor, it is called as a dry air. Okay, as you see in these uh, figures, uh, at 5 p.m. in the evening, uh, the, wa the water vapor that have examples is around 20% of relative humidity. Then at 11 a.m. in the morning, the water vapor uh, compared to the uh, uh, maximum water vapor possibility, okay, this is in the, in the circle, uh, the blue one in the circle, water vapor, is 50% relative humidity. But if you see here at 5 a.m., the water vapor compared to the uh, dry air in the atmosphere is around the same. So it is considered air uh less the maximum uh, water vapor possibility okay at this it can be called as a saturated or saturations so uh here it shows that how the bod our body can have in the comfort zone at 5 a.m the humidity relative humidity is 100 percent so it will cool our body compared to 5 p.m. only relative air humidity is 20%. The temperature, okay, the temperature of air in the uh, air conditioning applications, we can range from about a negative a 10 uh, degrees Celsius to about 50 uh, degrees Celsius. Uh, dry air, okay, dry air can be treated as an idea gas, uh, which a uh, constant CP value is uh, around 1.005 kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin. So, um, Taking, okay, we can taking uh, zero Celsius as a reference temperature, the uh, enthalpy and the enthalpy change of dry air can be de determined from uh, equations of enthalpy. That means for entropy dry air, H dry air is equals to Cp. T. This is uh, the uh, normal temperature, uh, normal formula for enthalpy. The, the unit is kilojoule per kilogram. And the changes of enthalpy is Cp changes of temperature, kilogram per kg. Uh, 
in air conditioning processes, we are concerned with the changes in enthalpy, uh, which is independence of the reference point selected. Okay. Okay, uh, so at 50, if you see at 50 degrees Celsius, okay, at 50 degrees Celsius, the saturation pressure of water is 12.35 uh, kilopascal, and at this pressure below uh, these values, the vap water vapor can be treated as an ideal gas, even when it is saturated vapor. The air, uh, the atmospheric air, uh, we treated as an ideal gas mixture. That means who, whose pressure P, that means P is the sum of the partial pressure of dry air uh, plus water vapor pressure. So the formula to find the uh, pressure. That means the sum of the partial pressure is equals to pressure at um, dry air plus pressure at water pressure, uh, water vapor. Because you know, in the atmospheric air, it have a mixture uh, of uh, dry air and also the moisture. That means uh, the relative humidity, the moisture in the atmospheric air. It's not only have a dry air. If we consider it as a, as a dry air, that means at that situations, at that environments, there, there is not have a, a moisture. So next slide. Okay, uh, the enthalpy, okay, at the enthalpy uh, of water vapor at uh, zero Celsius is around 2500.9, and the average uh, CP value of the water vapor in the temperature, that's mean range on negative 10 to uh, 50 Celsius, we can take in to be around 1.82 kilogram per kilogram uh, per kilogram uh, Celsius. Uh, then the enthalpy of the water vapor can be determined approximately from uh, Hg. That means uh, Hg in terms of uh, temperature. Okay is equals to uh, 2500.9 plus 1.82 temperature. Okay, this is the enthalpy, enthalpy of water vapor. Uh, if you want to find, okay, uh, use, uh, please use this uh, formula. Um, so, uh, this formula is between the range of negative 10 to uh, 50 Celsius, uh, which is we negligible error, okay, with, ne with a negligible error, we can use this uh, formula, okay. As you see in next slide, what I said just now, if we, if we use uh, two method to calculate the uh, enthalpy based on the tables and also based on the equations that stated uh, previously here 40.5 14.4 equation the difference arrows that we have only in between negative 0.6 Okay, to negative to uh, one zero point one. Okay, so with the negligibles, these arrows that mean these equations can be used also to find the enthalpy. Okay, 
even you want to find using the uh, uh, tables properties tables and also you can also find using the equations that stated uh, as should okay okay that is the uh, uh, how you could uh, know about the atmospheric air and also the dry air okay next let's look on the uh, specific humidity and also relative humidity what is the what actually is about these uh, properties okay actually the amount of water vapor in the air we can specify in various ways okay so properly the most logical way is to specify directly uh, the mass of water uh, vapor present in the unit of mass of dry air so these uh, properties is called as a absolute or specific humidity or also known as the humidity ratio and uh, it, it den uh, denote by uh, omega okay omega that means the formula omega is equals to m uh, v that means m v is referred for mass of uh, water vapor divided by m a that means mass of uh, dry air and the unit of this omega is kilogram water vapor per kilogram uh, dry air so it can be terminate and the the ratio is no unit okay um so uh this this specific humidity uh, can also be expressed as uh this one using the idea gas uh, equations you put it in this uh, formula in the omega then uh, you will have 0 0.622 uh, p uh, water vapor over pressure dry air and lastly we can simplify this formula it will come out with 0 0.622 pv over p minus pv okay and the, there is no unit because this is a ratio okay so uh, p actually is a total pressure as i mentioned earlier uh, and pv p, pv is a uh, pressure at uh, uh, dry air okay we we consider okay we consider consider one kilogram of uh, dry air okay try imagine that you 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 imagine that you have one kilogram of dry air uh, that's mean by definition you know that dry air is uh, contain no water vapor and uh, if it's if no water vapor that means the specific humidity is zero so uh, let's now we add some of the water vapor okay water vapor to this dry air what happened the specific humidity will increase as more vapor or moisture is added so the specific humidity will keep increasing until the air can hold uh, no more moisture okay we put water vapor into the air and then until at the end uh, no more uh, moisture because this situation it's, it is at this situation the dry air cannot hold the moisture at this point okay what i want to uh mention highlight at this point the air uh, is said to be saturated with moisture okay saturated with moisture and at this situation it is called as a saturated air okay any 
moisture introduced into the specific temperature uh, uh, sorry and any moisture introduced into saturated air will condense so the amount of water vapor in saturated air at the specified temperature and pressure can be determined okay we can be determined as you see in the figure uh, as you see in the figure uh, ne, this one at the right side and the formula that uh, you can use to find this uh, value of omega or specific uh, humidity at the uh, saturated air that I have mentioned you can use this uh, formula that means omega is equal to 0 0.622 uh, PV over P minus PV okay okay another thing is the the amount okay the amount of moisture that means the amount of moisture in the air has defined effect on how comfortable we feel in the environment however the comfort level depends more on the amount of moisture uh, the air hole okay that means when the moisture are put in the dry air that means the comfort zone the comfort that we we feel level the comfort level is depends on that uh moisture the air hole relative to the maximum amount of moisture of air can hold at the same temperature so uh the ratio of these two quantities are called relative humidity denote by phi okay uh, this is a uh, relative humidity it is uh, different from the specific humidity so the definition for relative uh, humidity is the ratio of the amount of moisture the air hole that means mv uh, mass of uh, water vapor to the maximum of uh, maximum amount of moisture of air can hold at the same temperature that means mg mg that means accelerated air okay so putting all the uh, uh, what we call this uh, PVRT uh, this is the uh, ideal gas equations into the equations okay uh, using M as uh, what you want to find so then you can determine determine terminate you can determine or neglect all the uh, term same uh, term temperature temperature volume volume so lastly you will have uh, PV over PG okay and PG is equal actually is a uh, pressure at uh, saturated air or saturated uh, function in the uh, in the properties tables so it as same as P saturated uh, pressure saturated at that temperature okay uh, this is the relative humidity um, so uh, from there you can simplify or you can uh, combine okay combine equations uh, equations uh, eight and seven that's my equation above equation these equations okay and also uh, uh, these equations uh, into the phi equations lastly we will get phi is equals to 0 0.622 uh, phi omega phi is equals to omega p over uh, 0 0.622 plus w time pg so this this is also for omega this is also for omega okay uh, this is all the equations uh, 
So the most practice applications, the amount of dry air in the air water vapor mixture remain constant, but the amount of water vapor changes. Okay. So therefore, the entropy of the atmospheric air is expressed per unit mass of dry. Okay, this is how you could find uh, the properties of enthalpy using the understanding of the atmospheric air. So we know that in the atmospheric air, the enthalpy also have two uh, conditions, where is the enthalpy for uh, dry air and also enthalpy for the uh, water vapor uh, conditions okay uh, so to find h uh, to find h we know the equations uh, h capital h that means uh, enthalpy is equals to h a plus h v so uh, um, to know the specific enthalpy, uh, then uh, specific enthalpy times by M uh, for A and B. In here, uh, what happened? Uh, specific enthalpy divided by M. So you will get H A plus omega H B. So uh, this is what happened okay what uh, happened or what uh, uh, sorry this is a uh, show how it described the enthalpy in the atmospheric air it have dry air and also the moisture uh, in the environment so the h uh, is equals to h a plus omega h g okay so um But this is expressed in the uh, per unit mass of dry air, okay, instead of the un uh, per unit of the air water vapor mixture. And then please note that uh, in the ordinary uh, temperature of atmospheric air, okay, it is frequently referred to as the dry bulb temperature okay please note uh, or please uh, remember about that uh, the dry bulb temperature uh, is ordinary temperature of atmospheric air and to differentiate it from other form of temperature uh, that we went to discuss uh, next okay so uh, uh, dry bulb temperature actually the ordinary temperature of atmospheric air okay let's see uh, the examples of this uh, 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 this uh, uh, situation uh, a 5 meter time 5 meter time 3 meter room contain the air at 25 Celsius and 100 kilopascal at the relative humidity of 75%. Determine, okay, it show uh, as a figure here, okay, the, the question shows here as a figure. A, the partial pressure of the dry air in this uh, volume room, the specific humidity, uh, the enthalpy per unit mass of the dry air, and also the mass of the dry air and water vapor in the room. Okay. Firstly, what you have to do you have to draw if if this uh, figures is not given in the uh, question to understand this question you have to draw or you have to sketch uh, according what has been given to you okay then uh, 
try or you must remember the equations that I has mentioned in the previous slides. Okay, what can we, how can we use these equations to, do, to solve these uh, problems? Okay, A, it want to find the partial pressure, pressure of dry air. So you know the, the total pressure, uh, P is equals to PA plus PV, and the unit here is kilopascal. So you want to find the partial pressure of dry air, that is PA, PA is equal to P minus PV. So at this situation, uh, it gives that the uh, pressure is 100 kilopascal and the temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. So you have to find the uh, saturated uh, pressure at temperature 25 Celsius uh, and it showed that pressure G at uh, uh, saturated uh, gas, okay, G is around 3.1698 kilopascal. That's, that means you can uh, see or you can find it in table A4. And you also know PV is equals to phi pg so phi has been given as a relative humidity is 75 uh, degree uh, 75 percent so use it as 0 0.75 phi this is specific humidities times pg PG is uh, P saturated at that uh, 25 Celsius uh, temperature. So you will get PV is 2.38. Okay, 2.38. So putting, substituting all these values, values that have you find into the equations in red box equations. So PA will P dry air the pressure at dry of dry air can be fine uh, equals to 100 minus 2.38 so it will come 97.62 kilopascal okay this is for number a uh, b the specific uh, humidity okay so specific humidity can be fine using the equations that have been defined in uh, in uh, previous slide that means omega that is a specific humidity is equals to this formula and substitute the values in to this formula and then you will get the answer or the specific humidity is equals to 0 0.0152 that means uh, kilogram vapor per kilogram dry air. Okay, this is the ratio. C. C is one you to find the enthalpy per unit mass of the dry air, the enthalpy. So this is the atmospheric air. So it have uh, dry air and also have uh, water vapor in the air okay so h is equals to h a plus omega h g um, so then uh, where h a is equals to c p t c p is 1.005 this is uh, for either guess we assume or we we simplify assume that this uh, this uh, atmospheric air uh, UCP 1.005 kilojoule per kilogram degree Celsius. So his G is equal at 25 Celsius is 2546.5 kilojoule per kilogram, and we can find it. You can find it in the table uh, A4, putting or substituting. These, uh, these values, two values into the equations, 
then it will give h is equals to 63.8 kilojoule per kilogram dry air D, all right. D is the masses of the dry air and water vapor in the room. Okay. Um, so before you can calculate or find these masses, dry and water vapor in the room, it mentioned or it wants you to find room. So firstly, you have to use the volume of each gas is equal in the volume of the room okay so you know the volume uh, for dry is equals to volume for vapor and this volume of gases is equal uh, to volume in the room so 5 times 5 times 3 you will get 75 uh, meter cube okay this is the volume of the room so using the idea gas equations uh, you find you want to find uh, dry air m a and the idea gas equation refer to dry air all p a v a r a t and substituting the values that you know into these equations and you will get 85.61 uh, kilogram that is uh, the value for mass of the dry air mass for the uh, uh, mass for the um, uh, vapor okay wet vapor um, could uh, fine could, could also be determined using the equations of nv is equals to omega ma so you know the omega at previous uh, solutions and then you also know the ma so from there you get the mv is equals to 1.30 kilogram or another uh, another uh, methods another equation you can use is using the ideal gas equations mv equals to pv uh, vv over rv temp uh, times temperature also we will get the same answer as one uh, as uh, below uh, equa as below uh, equation answers that's mean 1.30 kilogram dew point temperature okay what is a dew point temperature okay let's uh i brought you some example um if you live in a humid area you are properly used to walk up most morning and find that the grass is wet you know it did not rain the night before so what happened well the excess moisture in the air simply condensed on the cool surfaces forming what we call as dew in a summer example a considerable amount of water vaporizes during the day as the temperature falls during the night so uh, does the moisture capacity of air which is the maximum amount of moisture air can hold what happened to the relative humidity during this process after a while the moisture capacity of air equals its moisture content at this point air is saturated and its relative humidity is 100 percent 
akur. Another further drop of uh, another further drop in temperature results in the condensations of some of the moisture, and this is the beginning of dew formatting. So uh, that is as an example how uh, dew uh, form. Okay, so let's uh, see what is the uh, definitions of dew point temperature denote by uh, TDP okay as you see in the slide it is defined as the temperature of which condensations begins when the air is cool at constant pressure TDP is the saturated temperature of water corresponding to the vapor pressure okay um, as you look in the figures, okay, uh, the left side figures, this one, uh, TS diagram. As the air cools at constant pressure, the vapor pressure remains constant. Therefore, the vapor in the air, that means at state number one, undergoes a constant pressure cooling process until it straights. It straights the saturated vapor line at state number two. Okay, from one, it goes to state number two. The, pre the temperature at this point is TDP, that means dew point temperature. And if the temperature drops any further, some vapor condenses out. As a result, the amount of vapor in the air decreases which result in the decreases in PV, pressure at uh, vapor, water vapor. The air remains saturated during the condensation process and true follows a path of 100% relative humidity at the saturated uh, vapor line, okay, at this red line, saturated. Uh, vapor line that's mean at the uh, horizontal line the ordinary temperature and the dew point temperature of the saturated air are identical okay that, that is what happened uh, in term of technicals in the ts diagram okay another example as you see in the right side of this uh, diagram this is a can okay soda can uh, okay, uh, we take the example, uh, uh, if you buy a cool uh, can, drink, that means from the any vending uh, machines on a hot uh, or humid day, uh, you will find that uh, dew form on the can. Why? Okay, the formatting of this uh, dew on the can indicates that the temperature of the drink is below the dew point temperature of the surrounding air. The dew point temperature of the room air can be determined easily by cooling the sum water uh, in metal cup. That means by adding some amount of ice and stirring. Uh, so the temperature of the outside uh, surface of the cup uh, when dew start to form on the surface is the dew pump temperature of the air. Okay, that is uh, some of the examples that I can explain uh, to you all uh, of the formal thing of a dew uh, form. Okay, and also to understand what is a dew pump temperature. Let's uh, see the analysis and the calculations that involve uh, uh, with the dew pump temperature problems. All right, example number two. Okay. In cool weather, considerations frequently occur on the intersurfaces of the windows due to the lower air temperatures near the window surface. Consider 
a house that contains air at 20 degrees Celsius and 75% relative humidity. At what window temperature will the moisture in the air start condensing on the inner surface of the room? Okay, let's see. Uh, okay, you try to imagine uh, you have you ha your house okay, have uh, 20 Celsius degree Celsius and in the house you have 75% relative humidity. And the outside of the house is a very cool weather. Uh, example, in this uh, in this solution examples, it's about uh, 10 uh, degrees Celsius. Okay, so uh, and and this is this shows how you can calculate to find uh, what window temperature will be the moisture in the air start condensing. So you know that temp dew point temperature is equals to uh, T saturated uh, at the pressure of uh, water vapor. Okay, so where you want to find the pressure uh, at water vapor PV is equals to V. PG at 20 degrees Celsius. That means uh, 0 0.75. Okay, this value uh, you will use from the uh, questions defined. And 2.3392 kilopascal. This is the um, uh, pressure uh, saturated of 20 degrees Celsius. So from there you will get PV is equals to 1.74 uh, kilopascal. Okay. So um, using the properties tables, find 3 dp uh, dew point temperature is equals to T saturated at 1.754 kilopascal. You will get it is 50.4 degree Celsius. Okay, so if you look at these situations of the your your house or of the example in the in what we we want to solve in this uh, uh, solution, so uh, this is uh, the temperature distribution. So the outside uh, cool uh, temperature is ten Celsius. So uh, this is uh, twenty Celsius. Of course, if you uh, if you analysis or if you measure the temperature near the windows or the wall, it will give you 60 de uh, degrees Celsius. So because the outside is 10 degrees Celsius. So for these uh, determinations uh, of the answers, uh, uh, to avoid condensation, the inter surface should be maintained above 50.4 degrees Celsius. Okay. Uh, the example solution is very short, but it means uh, useful for you to understand how to uh, find the dew temperature uh, point for this uh, understanding. Okay, uh, so uh, I think um, that's it for uh, today class. Okay, uh, maybe we will continue more. Uh, uh, after this next class on the adiabatic uh, circulations and also on the bulb temperature and also on the um, psychometric chart. Okay, so um, I hope you have uh, understand all the uh, objective that you you have to you should get. Uh, <coughs> and the uh, understanding so uh, i stop uh, here for today so uh, see you in next class uh, this is for part a or part number one okay thank you very much see you later okay assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh dan uh, salam sejahtera